Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial from Inside Out Records and Stevie R. As you can see, my quarantine here is going strong. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite uh, subjects and it's creating sounds from sounds. Something that many people don't understand how important it is. Because to bring it in context, if we create new elements from existing elements in our compositions, because these come from the same sonic mother, they will most possibly feel that they belong together. So I can't stress enough how important it is that you try and use this technique. So we're going to use Ableton's algorithms for today's technique. And uh, each of the algorithms employs a different way to stretch and compress the audio. For example, beats takes specific points inside the waveform. By default, it would be transients, whatever trans it has detected, or I could change it to something that I want, and then it will loop these. So for example, if you want to really hear it was good, something stupidly slow, you can hear that now there is a loop every eight notes that goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Let's hear it. When it was like a different looping system, fourth, fourth. Very, very different. And we have just a single one, which we're only gonna hear the sample that is being taken and looped. For this algorithm to operate, you will get that and then nothing. That's a sample. Up. So like, by using uh, the value here, creatively, I could, for example, think that I can make a gate effect. So... So apart from that now though, and the gate effect that I also want to show you, I want to use the tones and textures algorithms as they are granular algorithms and they can give me some really, really interesting results when I mess around with the tempo and the transposition. So let's look at it. I'll start with texture. I will create a new track, say record. And this one will be recording from our disco drums record. So what I'm going to do now, essentially, is I'm going to go to something ridiculously slow and start, essentially now, this is the tempo that this has detected and it will try to go to whatever we are saying here. So I can even like trick it even further and do something stupid like that this is 500 and it has to go down to 50 or 20. As you can imagine, it would be like some really weird artifacts happening. But this is a very, you know, uh, open-minded uh, sound design technique. So bear with me here. It doesn't really matter. I'll just get that. So let's try to see now. I'll start from something up higher and go down. And that will mess with the parameters of the grain size and the flux. Okay. How cool is that?
so look at the amount of sounds we got just out of that little loop and imagine spending the time with that and going with vocals or anything the amount of different sounds and this is one of the techniques that you have to spend the time until you get what you want because it might sound horrible for a while but this one moment that you might get it right it might give you the most crazy and interesting rhythmical and tonical tonically incredible results ever and of course afterwards because this has detected when I was changing the tempo I don't want this to happen I don't want this to remember any of that because I want to obviously use them in any way that I see fit so I just select this delete it and if I was to work let's say as an example of 115 I want to make sure that I would say here you know for the first one 115 which essentially means don't make any change just leave the sounds as they were and then you could obviously like just choose the ones you want put them in a drum rack do whatever you please but from one element we could create like so many different ones and again this is a technique that you need to be patient and the moment you might get something it's one of those elements that maybe you can't even get it ever again and it has given me some insanely cool results and i would urge you to try it with many different elements and i promise if you're patient with it you're gonna get some amazing results that's it from me thanks for watching